Hey, what's up? Welcome back to TLC. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to speak that thing into existence. I don't know what that was all about. But what's up? Welcome back to Sugar. <laughs> Where did that come from? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Sugar Pants. I cannot. Um, okay, so um, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. I just want to make this really quick. Today is March second and i just wanted to do an update as to what's been going on with this hair sugar fast hey hey what's up y'all i had a phone call but anyway i'm gonna dive into this video real quick because i have a lot of things that i need to be doing um yes you all know that i went sugar free for 2023 right yeah so let me tell you how it's going for me january your girl had a couple sweets february i had a couple sweets not a lot and at the end of january i ate sweets so i was like you know what i'm gonna hold out <laughs> to february the end of february and that's what i did so um it's been hard y'all let me just stop right here it's been hard See, I don't make New Year's resolutions. I, I dedicate a word to my life for that year. And this year, I have a couple words. One of them I tell you all, it's uh, decrease. Decrease, decrease, decrease. So I've been purging a whole lot. I've been purging spiritually, mentally, uh, financially, physically, <laughs> physically purging. And, and for my well-being, I'm doing a lot of purging and just getting stuff out the way and i'm just making room for better to come and i'm finding it very difficult it's a lonely road when you're trying to give up something and unless you have somebody to bang with rock with get down with you know y'all know how i always say one bangle can't jingle so when you're doing it by yourself it's really tough so i, I commend anybody that's out here trying to tackle anything Y'all, I just dusted. <laughs> so it's probably a whole lot of little, it's probably gonna look like a whole lot of little snow flurries. Just ignore them, just ignore them because I, I just dusted. Why did I dust before I did the video? I also vacuumed, but I later learned that it was because I had my light turned on my phone and it just captures all of that. So my apologies. Anyway, um, so no, it's not orbs flying around me. You know, my angels are with me, but no, nah, that's, that's uh, dust. But like I was saying, um, I commend anyone that is out here, you know, making a difference within themselves so that their journey next year can look so much better, so much better, so much brighter. But um, letting go sweets, it has been a struggle. Some nights I'm holding on to myself, holding on to God, like, God, you got me, you got me, God? Because I've heard God audibly. I know a lot of people are like, I've never heard God. I have. I've heard God, my angels, my ancestor, the Holy Spirit, whomever. I, I hear that. And um, one time God came to me strong, like very strong, very strong, like I'm speaking right now, and said, he asked me, do you trust me? And it was like a man's voice. He was like, do you trust me? And I said, God, I trust you. I trust you. So I know God is going to get me through this. I know he's going to get me. And one of the scriptures that I hold on to is, James 4 and 7 and it says um like give yourself to God give give yourself to God and resist the enemy and he will flee he'll flee you know whatever temptation you're going through whatever addiction you're going going through whatever it is you're trying to let go of it could be people it could be habits it could be just whatever it is that you're trying to let go of resist the devil Resist the temptation. Resist it. Resist it. Resist it. And that thing will flee. It'll flee, y'all. It'll flee. You know. Um, I don't want to keep talking a whole lot because I have things I need to do. But today is March 2nd, um, 2023. And last time I uh, weighed myself that I remember was March 2nd, 2022. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh in for you all today because I do want to know where I started and where I'll end at the end of um, this year as far as weight-wise. I am interested in knowing. Um, it's been hard. It's, it's, it's been a struggle to let go of sugar. And um, I, I'm proud of myself because I've reached past the limits that I set on myself. Forget other people's limits that they put on me. Forget all of that. I, I don't even entertain that. I don't, I don't acknowledge what other people may say or think. It's all about me. It is all about me in 2023. <laughs> but anyway, I have gone past the limits that I have set for myself and I'm very proud of myself. Okay, so what I said this um, 
last month i keep saying this month because it's only the second of uh, march right so what i did was i said if i'm gonna eat some sweets i'm gonna make it myself and i was like oh but i love those um those scottish uh shortbread the shortbread the scottish shortbread better known as the cps butter cookies if you know you did you know chicago public school butter cookie job yeah now i lived outside of chicago and um my cousins were in chicago so i used to get the butter cookies from them plus you know the little restaurants in the city will always sell those little butter cookies oh my gosh and one of my girlfriends Ooh, she made me some for my birthday one year and I fell in love with them things. And that was ooh, probably about 20 years ago or longer, you know, um, cause ah, those things are so good. But anyway, so I said, you know what? I'm gonna make them. And I was like, oh, I can make them sugar free. I can make them with my date. You know, I can make some date um, puree, you know, for my sugar or I can use honey. I was like, oh, I could get creative. I was like, you know what? I want some sugar. So that's what I did y'all. I made some petticoat, you know, the look sliced ones that look like uh, pie slices yes yeah, so i made that and it was good i may insert some clips right here Yeah, they were really they were really really good and i was able to put way less sugar in them and i still was proud of myself i still at the end of the day patted myself on the back and was like you doing good so anyway y'all i'm not gonna keep this um video going i'm gonna hurry up and just go ahead and um weigh in and i'm gonna show y'all my body real quick and really i don't care if, and i'm not saying this in a in a um mean way or whatever i'm not i'm not saying this in no ill way, but I really mean that. I don't care if nobody watch this. I'm making it for myself. So I, I always said that I don't want to lose weight and get so healthy without me documenting it, without me, you know, uh, keeping it, you know, um, keeping up with this journey. You know what I'm saying? Journaling or whatever I, I need to do so that I can go back and look at what I went through. Yeah, because I used to do a whole lot of um, master clans. Oh, and I still got a lot of videos. I never put them out. I never put those out, but I kept them because I was like, I need to know what I'm going through. But anyway. Let's go upstairs so that I can weigh in. I'm gonna show y'all me real quick. Let me see if I can sit y'all right here. What can y'all see? Yeah, this house is dusty and I call myself Dustin before getting on. But anyway, this is where I am now, March. Let me put all my stomach in. <laughs> Glue Nika is still around. She's still there. <laughs> she gonna be gone soon. Yes, she will be gone soon. All right, y'all. This is this is where I am. So let me go. Ahead. I'm trying to think if it was something else that I would want to say. Um, get in your Bibles. Study, study, study. Lean into God. These are the times that you don't need to be trying to do it alone. You know. Grab God, grab grab a hold to God, and um, just ask God to, to help you press a gear through, help you get through, you know, and you can do it. I do a lot of um, t quiet time, you know, and I am doing like a, um, what did I call it the other day? Like a voice fast, you know, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not talking that much these days because I'm really leaning in. And you know, Lent is going on now and all that kind of stuff, but I'm really leaning in to God and just, I'm just, I don't know, I need so many answers and I'm just looking to do different things in my life and I need the strength of God to help me through them. And giving up sugar is one of them because y'all know I talk about my eyesight. My eyesight is bad um, and I just want to correct that thing. I don't want to always wear glasses. Yes, I'll be 49 in a few days or a few weeks, I should say, and I don't want to have to wear glasses. I, I'm tired of wearing glasses. So I want to see what my body will allow me to do as far as rejuvenating my I help. Okay, so what else was I gonna say? Read your Bible, study, study your Bible, um, listen to songs, make songs, 
um, hold on to some scriptures because it's going to be some times that you're going to be really, really good and the scriptures will help you get through. They help me. They help me. And a lot of times I'll be like, God, I'm going to need you because cause right now I'm about to pull up in here and, and give me some sweets. And for the most part, I'm always um, revert. I always revert back to my plan and, and I get back focused. But to anybody that is out there struggling, y'all, we got this, we can do it. And if you're giving up sugar for a whole year or for a month or for a week, man, rock with me, because one bang on Cajun grill. All right, that's enough talking. Let me go upstairs. Let's go upstairs so I can weigh myself. Yep, that's what I'm working with. <laughs> These creaky old steps. All right, y'all, let's weigh in. Let's see where I'm at. I have not weighed myself because why? <laughs> Wait, where do I look? Okay. I'm in the middle of cooking and my food smells so good. I'm making, it's not tacos, but it's it's like uh, fajitas. It's like fajitas. And I'm using like crab meat and all these beans and spices and um, avocado. Oh, it's so good. Y'all need to try y'all some taco, some uh, crab fajitas. Yeah. If you want me to take, um, if you want me to make a, a video, just let me know. All right, y'all. Let me go in this bathroom so I can weigh myself real quick so y'all can see what I'm working with. I yeah. Let's see what I'm working with. Yeah. The scale is in there. All right, y'all. Let's go on in there. Come on. Yeah, y'all y'all should be able to see. All right. Let me flip this camera around. All right, let me see. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, hold on y'all. All right, so we got the scale. And I guess I got the camera right. Let me, hold on y'all, one second. Here I go. So y'all don't be lying. Is that you? Come on, y'all. We're doing journeys for ourselves. We're, we're documenting the journey for ourselves. <clears throat> we ain't got to cheat. All right. <laughs> ah, here I go. I think I was supposed to have a camera the other way. Ooh. All right. Let me set it. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what I remember. Oh no. <clears throat> Wasn't it two like 236? Where do I look? The last time, wasn't it like 236, y'all? So I must have done it again. And now, I mean the last time <clears throat> it was 238. I don't know where that came from. Now it's 227. So um, and then I had pasta yesterday and just eating crazy. Let me see if I can prop y'all up. Ooh, that ain't gonna work. Anyway, um, let me move this back over here. Yeah, so that's what it is. 2.27, y'all. Um, I don't know. I think this morning, I would have weighed less because of me eating crazy today too. Anyway, it is what it is. That's that's where I'm at. 227. Now I know. So, you know, as I go on with this, I can, you know, know where I'm at. So anyway, that's the end of this video. <laughs> yep. Oh, excuse me. That's the end of this video. I'm getting ready to eat my food. And um, yeah, yeah, y'all. And, and getting that Bible study and just you know i started doing another thing too i look at um some areas in my life where i succeeded and i look at those things and they really inspire me to keep going you know because sometimes we get so caught up in the midst of, of where we at what we're doing and we kind of forget that we made it through before we kind of forget how dope we are right because during the struggle it's hard so sometimes we really 
y'all know my camera <laughs> my camera was like enough so it, it it went out on me but you know what i just want to say this at the end of this video it is important for us to maintain our our physical health right but our mental health is just as important y'all know everybody's talking about that nowadays but make sure you take time to love on yourself and if anybody is not treating you with love and respect you may need to check your price tag you may have have lowered your price somewhere right check your price tag and i always tell people in this season in my life right now it is for invite only vip only sometimes you have to be like that to keep your mental strong all right y'all go grab some love from wherever you need to love on yourself love on others and um get in god's word he'll help you through whatever struggles you may have all right y'all have a good night Spell.